Welcome back guys! Today we're going to do something different. We're going to build a Bluetooth speaker box. This box here is very very simple to build. It's just a matter of a Bluetooth receiver, a couple of speakers and a big battery pack inside. So what we're going to do is put in some 8650 batteries, the Bluetooth receiver and also add the opportunity or the possibility to actually charge the batteries directly. I start with sketching up a little bit quick about how I want this laid out. Nothing complicated at all, but I need some measurements. So basically the system consists of the speakers in front, two LEDs that will show you if it's turned on or if it's running on the battery. You have the switch here as well. The switch that will be used is this one. The two-way with the middle section. In the back there will be a charging outlet so you can charge the whole thing. Inside you have the BMS system and this is the BMS that will take care of the battery. And then you have the batteries and you have the Bluetooth. This is the amplifier with the Bluetooth inside and you have the two speakers. The two speakers in this case is normal speakers that I got out of a computer speaker that was salvaged a couple of years back. We're running. Goes very fast. Quick dry fit just to make sure I got the pieces I wanted. And it seems like that. Mocking up where I want everything on the piece to make sure that it looks alright. Also measuring everything. Going back to the computer to actually draw it up for the CNC machine. Unfortunately I did a mistake with the holes for the speakers. They were a little bit too small, but I didn't bother very, very much about that. I do like the CNC machine when it comes to panel. It's so damn simple. You add everything up and it works perfectly. Starting with a V-bit, just to make sure I get the text out I wanted. And you really don't need this sort of machine. You could have done it with some saw and uh, some uh, drills instead. Three passes, and it goes rather quick. It's only 8mm th thick, so... Could have done it in one pass as well, but hey... It's working like this. And the holes for the buttons and everything. And here you can see the mistake, I have to file it up a little bit. Not a big deal though. I'm just gluing it together, no nails or anything. And that will work just fine. And a lot of clamps of course. You cannot have enough clamps. Quick sand up, I want it rather rough, but at the same time I don't want every glue sticking out. Basically we have all four batteries here, so let's tie them together. I'm just using normal tape to actually hold them together until I have wrapped them up. Quick solder on them to make it working. And this is 3S2P. So I'm getting roughly 4 amp hours at 12 volts. I'm using 1.5 mm copper wire in this case because that was what I had laying around. Adding the cables, the positive and negative first. Making sure that the cables only come out from one side as you can see I'm sticking them through. 
going back and adding the balance cables as well. And this will be hooked up to the BMS. Adding some plastic cover, this is very very good to have. Uh, shrink plastic for or making uh, battery cases. And as you can see I'm using two of them, one at each way. And that makes it a very very neat little battery pack when I'm done. It doesn't look like that now but it works better afterwards. S screwing the <laughs> speakers in place. But first I need to add some cocking because I forgot that. It's just to make it a little bit more sealed up. Preparing the LEDs, one resistor on each and adding them up. And the hole is a little bit too big, another mistake I did. Uh, but that doesn't really matter because I add some hot glue inside it. And that makes the lead sit behind the hot glue instead, as you can see here. Uh, it's really hard to see, but there you see it. Adding the charge port on the back. And of course I had a little bit too short cables there, but it worked out pretty well. Mm, soldering everything together, the BMS and the charge port. shrink wraps around that as well so I make sure I don't have anything that could short circuit and the B is just simple about uh, adding it up on the correct pores on the BMS <laughs> now for some reason I was singing in the background I will add links below to everything that I did use, or at least link to my page where I have the information needed. Adding the switch, and then it's time to actually glue the parts together. I'm using hot glue because that's fairly simple and it works great to add it up. And when that's done I screw the back case back again. Nothing fancy here. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. Thank you guys for watching another one of my exciting episodes. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Meanwhile also check out my other exciting videos. And if you want to support my work you can find links to both Patreon and Paypal below. By becoming a Patreon supporter you help me a lot and you also gain access to some extra material.